How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, something I haven't done in a while, but because of because of today and what I was able for what I was able to get today, I figured, you know what? I'm gonna do a video on this because I thought it was pretty interesting. I'm going to be opening up, I know you, you can't see the actual thing, but obviously you, you, you see the branding here, which is actually very important, that's all that matters to most of us, but in this bag is all 12 of the Dungeons and Dragons CMF minifigures, all 12 of them. I went to Lego release day pretty much today. As you probably saw in my other video talking about what I just did. Apparently they, they, they made the effort to put each and every single one in this bag. So I thought, you know what? I'll do a video showcasing them all. So, let's do that. Now, before I continue, if, if it sounds like someone is like walking above me, well, first of all, you're not wrong. Two, it's my parents walking around doing some stuff and taking care of, you know, they're bringing some Halloween decorations down. And uh, yeah. Now, here we have the bag for the, as you can tell, the 12 D&D figures. And uh, before I start opening this bag up, we have a bit of distraction back here. So I'm gonna take this, no one doesn't care about that. And uh, I'm gonna start opening this. So uh, let's get to it. I'll just open that up. I don't think I even need this to be honest with you. Just now, as I was told at the Lego store of Lego release day, all 12 of them are in here. So let me just move you like that. Here they all are, all in their beautiness and coolness and whatever heck else. It's all cool, okay? Jeez. Okay, so let's just take the time to neaten up. Coach Production Mike will probably skip, out, skip over this, fast forward this boring part here. So whenever he decides to kick that in. Alright, uh, right, I'm trying to be, be cool, hold it like a deck of cards or something, and it's just not working. Okay. Here I have all 12 of them, and as they claimed today, because I just got back as of half an hour ago or whatever from my Lego store, as of Lego Day 1, for releases. Here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 minifigures, and there's one of each in this box. So let's get opening. Okay, so here is the first box. <clears throat> I know I had to do a little cut in between from what I did to, to now. I, I wanted to take a picture of this so that I can make a thumbnail for later. But... With me, when I do these kind of videos, I want to show full-on proof that there is no pre-tearing, pre-opening, pre-cutting of any kind so that I'm not cheating or anything like that. I did showcase the bag, you know, stapled when I opened it so that, you know, I want you guys to know and, and I am full-on trying to be honest when I open these up because I don't know what's in these. So this one here, let's see. I do have my handy-dandy sharp object here. So let's see. I already said he's got two faces, 
so that's good. Dual faces, two faces, same thing. Man, you are not looking so good there, buddy. Not a, not, not handing up on your thing. Okay. And then a little glass of uh, mead, or I don't know what that is. His glass is something maybe maybe for him to drink something out of. I don't know. Oh, and he's got a cape. I forgot to put a stupid cape on. My goodness. It's like I'm new around here or something. And he fell off his thing again. Man, I'm such a... It's all right, guys. I'm not, I'm not day one or anything, so... Hmm. Here we have it. There's my first box that I opened up. Really neat looking. He's maybe one of my favorites so far. I think he's really cool. Alright. And we got we should probably take a look at what we have in store. See if there's see if there's anything else cooler than what he is. And it looked like I opened up number eight. Number eight so far. I don't know why the boxes are different with the numbers, but they are apparently. So there's that. Okay. Next one. I don't know. It just makes sense for now, so <laughs> let it roll. Let laugh as you want. Roast me in the comments. Oh, and I forgot he also has this stupid cape. My lord. Then I'm gonna put this on. So, he's a single face minifigure with a pumpkin head. Plus, he's plus he he throws fire. So, if he if he's an actual character, if he looks like this, then okay, cool. You know, I'm just you know, is he is he a character for something that I'm not aware of what he is? You know, let me know. He is number. Side, he is number 11. He's number 11 right there. He's the red box. Okay, who do we got next? Alright, next up. More than one face, which is kind of weird. See, we have that face, and we have that face. Then we have this face, and we have that face. So I guess you could interchange it for different things. Not too sure. So just go with this for now, I guess. I Okay, so there, there he is. He looks really neat. He looks pretty cool. Alright, that's uh, that's one guy right there. Well, another one. That's three. And plus he's got the extra, we also have the extra headpiece that's also dual faced. Different reactions. Okay. Here's here's the next one. So, that's neat looking. Two faces, 
has a nifty book, has a tablet, it's already printed, which is a big plus, big plus by the way. Here's, here's your cute little cauldron. Next box. This one, okay, so th th they're actually out outsmarting us here. I keep saying dual faces, but they actually upped that ante and actually made it dueling. It's not dueling, dueling. It's not dueling two times, but not dueling squared. It's more of like, uh, yeah, dueling two times to faces. And uh, yeah, we got two faces here, and then we got two faces here with a beard, which is pretty neat. Oop. Pretty neat. So I'm gonna adjust. And he is number one. Yeah, he's number one, and he's blue. I don't, I don't know the difference between the red and the blue, but whatever. Someone in the comments inform me. What, what does the blue and the red signify here? There you have it. Really, really neat looking. Oh, it needs it. This spinning figure need, need, needs the hairdo. All right. So very, very uh, awesome looking. Very neat. So far, I'm liking the series. I'm liking this so far. Put the extras over there. Okay. Whew. Next one. Dude, that is sick looking. He's number six. He's blue number six. He's the eagle. Okay, that is that that that's that's pretty rad. I gotta say that's that's pretty cool. Looks like he's like singing or something or some sort. Now I gotta put that on, on his head. He's the he's like an eagle or something. What, is he an eagle? Am I looking at this wrong? Wait, am I looking at the wrong guy? I think I'm looking at the wrong guy. I am looking at the wrong guy. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's number nine. Never mind. Anyways, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong guy. It wasn't six. It was nine. So there you have it. Very, very neat looking. The extra headpiece, which I think is the, 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 the male headpiece. So this time I decided to switch it up. Do the female this time around. Obviously the extras are, there you go. We're down to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're halfway done. Uh. I hope I get a thousand subs for this. Hmm. <laughs> His his molt, his headpiece is very different looking, which I think is pretty neat looking though. That's pretty cool. He looks really really neat looking. That's really cool. So far, my I know we're halfway kind of through this whole thing, and just by looking at all the minifigures, my two favorites. Might be three, four, I'm not too sure. I like them all, to be honest with you. They're all, all 12 of them are pretty sick looking. But my favorite is the Vampire Slayer. I think he's a Vampire Slayer. And I like him. He's different looking. And why do I have... I don't know why I have these extra, like, fangs here. I never had to put these on I, unless... Oh, wait a minute. Unless you, know, you want to like interchange the look of the staff, 
you know, up to your liking, I guess. A little brainy friend there. Cool. All right. So he's done. He's okay because he's just like really simple. All right. So there he is, very neat looking. Oh, hold on to your stick there, will you? Oh, oh boy. Okay, there you have it, his stick. Get that, push that off to the side, yeah. run a hundred times. Next. Doesn't need his headpiece. There's nothing on it. All right, we got no faces there. Did I forget to mention some of the dual, pe dual faces? Ah, oh, you guys get the idea. This is the most I've opened in a in a minifigure series. So please cut me some slack if I forgot to mention that. And then there you have that. That's actually really neat looking. I think that's actually pretty cool. Hmm. All right, moving on. Oh, and did I? Did I forget? I did forget his cape. Oh, some of you are probably keeping track of how many times I've, I forgot to the cape. Please. Please cut me some slack. We got that. Boom. Two more. Let's power through this. There's that pile of garbage. <laughs> I got a little pile going here. Okay, so there you have it with his pet dog. Ain't that neat? Who would I not open up? I don't know. I think I didn't open up the... I think I didn't open up number three yet. I don't think I opened up her yet. There, there you have all of the Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeon and Dragons, did I say that right? Minifigure co co Collector Series. This is probably the very first ever series that I have actually completed based on a Lego day one purchase. And I think that is actually pretty awesome. Awesome. Now, with all those minifigures opened, that's gonna do it for the collection of all those 12 minifigures. I think that was a pretty sweet deal for, uh, for a Lego day one release to kind of like offer that bag that, that looks like this here. And it actually, you know, the, the little yellow bag that I showed, I, I think it was cool that they actually 
offered that. That was still I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, one thing before I end here, before before you know, some of you are probably are are a little steaming right now because of what I did in the very beginning of the video. But don't worry, I was just kidding. I know I tossed Mr. Deco Tree here, but I was just kidding. He's very important to me. He's very precious, and um, uh, all I gotta say is, I think I'll be satisfied after this build. But I'll get more into that after when I'm done building this. I'm gonna, I might make a video talking about this set and what it really means to me. But other than that, that's all the mini figures that are open that 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 I end up opening. You know, all twelve of them. I I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and uh, with that, I'm out of here. So, see ya.